Andy Roman here. Welcome to Get Real with Andy, episode number 27. You know, I'm calling this one the power of authenticity, which is really central to my latest book called Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal. Because I'm getting a little older or something, something is dawning within me where I'm realizing I'm not going to be here forever, that my time is really limited, my time is really precious, and I want something that will unlock my moment for me to yield the treasure that I know is available in the moment. My moments are different, just like yours, from one moment to the next, things change. Sometimes I'm alone, I'm driving in the car by myself, sometimes I'm with somebody, sometimes I'm, you know, intimate with somebody. And so the moment really comes in many different flavors. And authenticity is that quality that unlocks the moment. It it opens it up, it reveals that which is worth experiencing. And it takes guts to be authentic because not every not every feeling or not every experience is, quote, positive. You know, no matter how positive I might be about it, there are things in me that need confronting and there are things in you that I'm ready to confront, that I'm called on to confront as a loving act. So authenticity is its own road. It's its own path. To be real. What does it mean to be real? I've talked about this throughout this series. Real means being in touch with reality. Real means speaking and living one's truth. Being real means being congruent, where what you feel is what you express, what you want is what you pursue. Being real involves actually being connected inside and out. I can tell when I'm feeling connected because words like in the flow and all that, that's the experience of, of being authentic. I can be who I really am and accept myself. Self-acceptance is, is a huge part of being authentic. It, it's like the gate that opens up authenticity because if I don't accept myself, I'm going to stay within the narrow bands of what I think is acceptable and not really be fully alive. You know, I've noticed working with little children that they're always exploring. They don't have this fixed identity, this fixed sense of self, you know, until they get a little older. So they're just exploring the senses. There was this saying in the late 60s, lose your mind and come to your senses. And it's a, it's a cute saying. All right, so authenticity, practice it, discover it, get a sense of what it is to be on that cutting edge of identity discovery. You know, each moment is brand new. Somebody wise once said, live this moment as if this miracle has never happened before. And that's just such beautiful counsel. So I wish that for you. I wish that for myself. One at a time, we're going to transform our own experience. Then when we get together, we're just going to be high together. A anything that's not high is just going to drop away. You know, all these conflicts and boundaries and artificial countries and, you know, cultures and differences, that's all great. But that doesn't make us predominantly different from each other. We're predominantly the same or similar. All right.